<laughs> good morning, good morning everybody and welcome to the Maasai Mara. I'm in my Mara kit. It's wonderful to have you with us here. My name is James Hendry and hashtag Safari Live is the way you can ask us any questions. And we also have on camera with us today David Eastall. It's been a very long time since I've spoken with him filming me and uh, so I'm very excited about yeah, that. Man. Poor old David is of course pale white with shock and terror. Now what we have here is a hyena den. Well that's not the den, that's a hyena more than the den. Ah, the den. Uh, yes, the, the, there's the den. And when we got here, it was really rather an interesting, interesting situation. There's a very small one that is living in that hole in the ground. But surrounding the hyenas were what you can see there, the warthog. And they were living in uh, what can only be described as glorious peace and harmony. And we thought that was a bit concerning. We thought this is very strange. Do they think that they are one another? why is it that they live in such close proximity and we saw another group in exactly the same sort of makeup a little while earlier and so there seems to be a very uh, well shall we say heartwarming understanding between the pigs and the hyenas this is very strange that was my telephone in case you heard it everybody a uh, siri as a on my telephone decided she thought I was asking her a question, which of course I was not. But you may ask me a question, as I said earlier, on the hashtag Safari Live. If you did hear a sort of loud cackling noise before we came, as we went live, um, it, it wasn't David, it wasn't me, it wasn't even one of these hyenas. It was Rebecca Christensen, who was sitting on the back of the car. We're off to a school today to do some filming after we have completed our game drive. There are some very upset crowned lapwings who are very obviously disturbed by the hyena near their nest, I think. There he goes, slinking off into the day. I always find at this time of the day when I find a hyena, often they look like uh, sort of nightclubbers who have just walked out of the club and they're walk <laughs> sloping their way home after a heavy night, just exactly like that one's walking now. And uh, they're sort of on these paths towards the den sites or close to them where they're going to rest up for the day before another night of wassailing. Hello, White Lady Erwin. You're wondering if hyenas here dig their own dens in the Mara or if they also use artfark holes. I think you will find that they probably modify artfark holes. This is definitely a termite mound over here that the hyena is in. It, there are ant nests that look relatively similar but much smaller around here so that's I'm pretty sure that's a termite mound and they're not big and they're not deep because, of course, the water table is that much lower or higher than it would be in a place like Juma. But hyena are not equipped with the uh, equipment to, <laughs> to dig holes properly. And so what you will find is that that must have been originally opened up by an artfark, probably. Um, possibly a porcupine, but I think probably an artfark and then modified by the pigs and possibly the hyenas themselves because the pigs of course live also in holes in the ground there is the vast expanse of the maasai mara you're looking off to the uh, well to the south pretty much there and we're going to head down a little bit further to the south because there seems to be some kind of sighting off to the right hand side of where we're sitting. I'm not sure what it is. I suspect it's a cheetah. So we're going to go and have a look there. And then we will make our way back towards the far east of the Mara. I'm not sure how far we'll get before half past ten, but we will keep you posted. I'm just looking over to the far distance there to see if I can't figure out what it is exactly that they're looking at. All righty, shall we drive on? Let's drive on, David. Just a moment. Rebecca, what are you pointing at? It's 
bag. Oh, he lifted, he dropped his bag. All right, while um, we retrieve David's bag, let's head across to Byron, who I believe is looking for something quite astonishing, an animal.